What's up guys, welcome back to another video, and today I'm going to be explaining why I feel King Nikot is superior to the Top Thrill Dragster. So, first I'm going to show you guys downright POVs, and then I will explain myself while we watch the off-ride footage. Okay, so to start off, I find King Nika to be way more intense, specifically on the launch, because as you can tell just by the POVs, King Nika's launch track is way longer than Top Thrill Dragster's. I also find the theming to be very cool, because unlike Top Thrill Dragster, King Nika is a very loud ride, and while you're waiting in line you can't see the launch track necessarily so you hear all this loud noise and the launching and everything like that and it just builds up the anticipation even more another thing i like better about king Nika is how it has that massive airtime hill after the tower instead of ending just in straight track I feel like this is a great finish to the ride, and I feel like it delivers some awesome flow to air time despite the over the shoulder restraints. Just look at this, you can't tell me this doesn't provide some decent flow to air time. Even on a hauling day, it might even provide some ejector air time. Another reason I like King Nikah better than Top Thrill Dragster is reliability. King Nikah is way more reliable than Top Thrill Dragster in my opinion. Uh, I never really have to worry too much about it being broken down because I'm always at Six Flags Great Adventure. And 80% of the time, King Nikah is up and running just fine without any problems. So this is why I think it is more reliable. So to sum it up, the main reason I like King Nikah better than Top Throw Dragster is because I find it to be more intense and to have a better theme. I don't like how Top Throw Dragster is just plopped down in the middle of the midway, and I like how King Nikah is kind of hidden, and it has a kind of like a more intimidating feel than Top Throw Dragster. And also, the theme music for this ride is outstanding, and it gets you so pumped up to ride. Here's what I mean by the music building up the anticipation. In this next clip, I will show you the music that played my first time riding King the Car when I was stuck on the launch track for two minutes. I was so scared. Oh my god. <laughs> and now on the top for dragster okay so don't get me wrong i love this ride but i do not feel like it is nearly as good as king the car here's why i don't find the launch to be very intense if intense at all yes i do like the restraints better yes i do find it to be smoother but I feel like King the Ka would be a much harder ride for first time riders than Top Throw Dragster. Because at Top Throw Dragster, they just decided to plop this down in the middle of the midway for everyone to see. 
but on King the Ka, the it's kind of hidden, so the general public might not know what to expect, and it might be a much more terrifying experience for the general public. Where on Top Thrill Dragster, they know exactly when the launch is coming, and they know exactly when to expect it because of the lights. I definitely feel like Dragster does have its pros and cons, but I overall like King the Cut better just because of the fact that it's a more intense ride. Yes, you get the better view on Top Thrill Dragster. Yes, it has the better restraints. Yes, it is smoother, but I just find King the Cut to be more intense. That is why I enjoy it more.